Well, hi boys and girls. Um, today we're going to look at the front end of the car. Now, I've been criticized for saying frunk, and I've been criticized for saying trunk, and I've been criticized for saying hood. So, in England, this is called a bonnet. So we're gonna open the bonnet and see what's inside, okay? We've already done this once, but now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take a closer look. So before, I couldn't find the, uh, the, uh, the latch mechanism, but now I know where it is. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna start on this side and work to that direction. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, <clears throat> right here. Now, anybody who knows anything about cars knows that this is where the fuses are going to be. So I wanna have a look at how many they've got, bearing in mind that, uh, bearing in mind that Maybe this is not easy. Oh, here we go. Bearing in mind that Tesla has none. Uh, what? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we got that off. Now, let's have a look at, um, at what you're looking at. Here are replaceable fuses for the most part. And, um, and we have to remember that um, hmm, Tesla doesn't have any uh, replaceable fuses. Um, they, theirs are uh, a little bit different. If they pop off, they turn them back on OT, um, OTA um, over the uh, air. So these kinds of things are things that I look for. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be one of my poles and that's going to be the other. So this is how I'm going to jump this car if I need to uh, get my 12 volt working again. And we've mentioned before, um, <clears throat> these things uh, won't work um, no matter how much battery is in the uh, is in the battery pack it won't work if um, it won't work if the um, if the 12 volt battery isn't working so oh, oh, okay so it's tough to get it off but it's easy to put it back together that's good news so um, Volvo did a good job on, oh I love that very good snap fit for assembly a little tough for service so anyway we go over here and we um, we've kind of looked at this sort of stuff here. Now, I, I'm, not a I, I'm not a fan of latches on both sides. Um, it's just extra cost and weight. But um, it does do one thing for us. Um, underneath here is, a, is gonna be a cooling module, a radiator or something. Um, that usually um, has a problem with space, space claim. By putting the striker uh, module um, into the hood on both sides and by putting two latches in here what I've done is I've freed up the space that I would normally have to have for uh, the cooling module and uh, and you know what I'm gonna just take a side trip here some people are asking me what my favorite fastener is seeing as it's not screws so here is one right here that I like a lot so you push down the little red the, the little thing in the center and then and then you, um, you pop it up, okay, and it comes out, see? Good deal. Now, when you want to make it so that it fastens again, you push it like this so that it's all the way out. Push it through the hole. Like, <clears throat> so simple, hmm. Oh, I see, it only got a half a hole to heal deal with here push that in now to secure it all I do is push that in so why do I like that so much that came out of one of our workshops one of uh, one of our guys uh, in a workshop um, at a nameless company um, came up with that idea and um, he was branded as a loose cannon so uh, they released him but I like this fastener a lot and by the way he's like a gazillionaire now so this is a really good idea. I like, I like using these. And um, so anyway, let me get back to the hood. Why does it look like this? Well, this is because um, this is a European design car and they have, um, as I've said before, they have a situation with um, pedestrians. I don't know why it's uh, so prevalent over there, but apparently pedestrians get run over by cars or hit by cars quite often. So this, is what I expected. It's aluminum, and um, and aluminum uh, means that uh, 
Aluminum means that it, it's going it's to deform a little easier than, than sheet metal is. Now, that's on the inside. This is the thing that keeps you from getting drumming or, uh, or oil canning. And, and here's another fastener that I like. See this right here? This is called a self-piercing rivet. And that means that I can join this aluminum to the steel in back of it, and I won't get galvanic action. That means that this will never start corroding, because steel and aluminum don't like to touch each other at all. So by putting this in, I've got a, a really secure uh, surface that I can make these things uh, crush into. And because they're self-piercing, I don't have to have holes. Wherever is a convenient spot, that's, uh, that's where you can use one of these things. And all I need is a press to push them together. So that's, a, that's a, a nice touch, too, from a fastening standpoint. As we move further along here, have a look at this, OK? Now, before, when we were looking at the, um, when we were looking at the ID4, they had a big bar that went across. But these guys have designed in um, the cowl to turn into the cross brace to go between these two, uh, these are called shock towers, these two towers here. And that's what gives it stability. So again, lots of stuff here for being stable. Now, uh, this is a nice aluminum casting. So let's have a look at this casting. What does it do? The aluminum, the aluminum casting is also the support for the, is the support for the, um, uh, the headlamp, but it's also for the bumper stop, for the bump stops, and it's also a bracket that holds a bunch of other stuff in place. Plus, of course, it's it's holding the, um, the uh, bonnet latch in place. So all these things are uh, coming out of one. And that's kind of cool. I, I like it when people. I like multifunctional parts. So this part ha is doing this job, and that job, and this job, and that job, and this job. And it's uh, also holding to the, uh, shot, to the uh, front rail, so the shotgun. So all these things are happening um, because of this one part. So that's, that's kind of cool, actually. So this real catch, this little catch right here, this is really quite ingenious. When or if someone is hit in the front end of the car, um, the, um, the catch, this part here goes up against the, uh, that, that piece of metal down below, but this will cycle in and grab here, which will, uh, will make the hood basically pop up. And this is for deflection so that the, uh, the pedestrian, if, it, if, if someone does get hit, when this pops up a little bit, <clears throat> it'll catch them and slow it down, slow down the, the impact. Changing the angle makes a big difference um, uh, on how to control mass. So this hinge, this latch, the latches down here, the latches up here, all these things interact to give the Ped Pro system its uh, capabilities. So with that, what I'd like to do is, um, is wrap it up for now. Um, our, next, uh, our next video is going to allow me to see what's underneath. Um, I, I can see through here that there's a lot of holes. And um, my first reaction is, I wonder what the heck is going on, because that's not very much room. I wonder what's underneath. So anyhow, uh, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. T keep tipping those cashiers, and we'll see you on uh, the next Mineral Live. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.